Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I need to apologize in advance because I caught the flu and lost my voice. And this is my only free time to prepare this tutorial, so sorry for that. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about modeling according to TD and more specifically tubes and how to prepare an accurate UV mapping in an efficient way. So first thing first, we're going to talk about different type of modeling supplies from clients. And then what's a TD and how to read that accurately and eventually one of the most efficient way to model and UV mapping the tube according to TD. So let's get it started. There are different type of supplies that you might receive from client for modeling. They might have only a physical sample, which in that case, I suggest to ask them sending you a few photos from all different sides of the product. And in few of those photos, keep a ruler beside the product to get you the measurements. Another type of supply might be a CAD file, which in that case, you need to clean up and use it. Um, if you work in a big corporation, they usually have a sort of workflow to identify fit for use supply and, and flag out those cases that they are not FFU. But if you are working as a freelancer, always make sure what client supplies um, can meet their request and always let them know the risk. Uh, specifically, if it's a CAD file and you need to remodel everything, then you can charge them accordingly. The most important thing for accurate modeling is TD or technical drawing. TD is a detailed plan that conveys information about how an object is constructed. So technically from shape to emboss and deboss and dents and any detail of product could be created according to TD. In this industry, uh, we have two types of TD. First, the one that comes with the artwork and second, geometry or model TD. Artwork TD is the one that comes with the artwork, which defines the artwork size and technical information of the artwork, like bleeding area and position of the element, center of the artwork, etc., etc. Geometry TD is the one that defines how an object is constructed. There are products like carton, bag, shipper, can, that artwork covers the entire product. And in that case, artwork TD is all you need to complete the job. And Tube is one of those products. So as long as you receive the artwork from client for Tube, that would be good enough to complete the job. But if the job is bottle, then you need to request a TD for bottle itself. Okay, let's talk about how to read the necessary information from die cut or TD and build the wireframe accurately. There are two values that you need initially to build the wireframe height and width, and they are already here in the artwork. But you can't use them because there are also certain things like glue area, bleeding area, etc. that designers consider in their artworks um, because in reality when they fold this label around the tube, the edge of one side will pass the other side and sit on top of it. And this is not what happened in 3D, so you need to recalculate the values for your 3D model. In this sort of artworks, always look for eye mark position. It always sits in the center of backside of the tube on top. From that to center of label, and then times four should be the width of our tube in 3D environment, which in our case is 156 millimeter. And height is equal with the height of the artwork, which is 135.5 millimeter. It might be still a bit confusing, but once I create the model in 3D, you will understand better. The only thing that you need to remember here is since half of width of this square is 39, it means anything in the area of this square will, will be exactly front of the tube. And the rest from left side and right side will fall on the back side of the tube. Okay, here in Blender, I have the die cut image in a background as a reference. Let's start the tube by creating a plane, and the size will be based on what we calculated earlier, which is 156 millimeter to 135.5 millimeter. Let's name this mesh tube. 
I'll make sure to apply the scale to reset the scale back to 1. Now go to edit mode and add few loop cut. I will add 71. The next step is to bend the plane, but before that we need to create an empty. Um, so shift A, create an empty and move it to minus one. Now select the tube again and in modifier assign the simple deform. Then in origin select the empty and change the type of deform to bend and put 360 degree in the angle and apply the deform. Now let's set the pivot point by going to object tab and set origin and geometry back to origin. Next, rotate your geometry in Z axis to put the current UV seam edge on the right side of the tube. Now merge the two end vertices by selecting them and then press M and add center. The same should happen for the other two vertices. Okay, now our tube is uh, tapered, which means it is wider in one end than the other. And we need to get that shape. So go to front view, uh, select all the top vertices and scale them in X till they shape the same width um, as per die cut. Then, in perspective, scale them in Y axis to get close to each other for later to shape the sealed area. Okay, we are almost there, but we need to fix the UV and finalize it. First, select the entire UV and mirror in X axis. And adjust it to be in the UV box. Then add more loop cuts between two ends. In UV editor window, select the border vertices and then uh, press P to pin them. Then select everything and unwrap. Now you have minimum distortion on your model. Okay, I think we are done here. The reach for the sealed area could achieve either by normal map or modeling and CAP also needs uh, TD, which is another lesson. But the point here was to create um, body of the tube without distortion and according to the TD. Uh, hope it was useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.